So we're, we are, where are we at, Elisha? Uh, we're at the, uh, the waterfall. This is not a waterfall. <laughs> uh, no, no. What is it? It's, uh, it's a, uh, like an ocean. It's like an ocean? Yeah. Do you love it? Yeah. Okay, so I'm right here. I, I, I was telling Elisha, well, I was attempting to, but the baby kept crying. But uh, my daughter went to take him a little bit far so i could tell him the story about the great ones remember the story i was telling you yeah okay. we're like our ancestors uh, yeah like so it's about our ancestors i was telling them that our ancestors um were called the great ones um or the great ones came down and told our ancestors how to take care of how to be guardians of the earth right of gaia which is the planet earth right and in our in my story it says that the great ones divided divided um the guard uh, the guardians of the earth into four different places uh south east um north and west did you know that? Read all the Say hi. Say hi to YouTube. Anyways, so they divided the guardians of the earth into four. Uh, south, east, north, and west. Right? Mm -hmm. And so they told all these people to... Well, they taught all these people... How to take care of the earth which is how do you think they taught them how to take care of the earth um, keep the water clean right no how litter. to how to what I like no littering no littering yeah, yeah sure. don't throw the trash um they pretty much showed them how to survive and this is before the internet yeah. right before we had tools or anything i don't even think they I don't even think I don't even know if they had it was before they had horses probably. I don't know. Before like when the internet you, the internet came out in the nineteen eighties with Windows zero point one. Fun fact. Um so anyways so the great ones showed them how to take care of the earth. And you know why they showed them? So they could tell their kids to survive. And like, to survive and have a wealthy life yes and they they told these stories to their kids um so their kids could know how to treat the earth because that's where we live in right and what happens when we don't treat the earth right um, the earth starts dying and um, and like humans won't live Exactly. And the and the and the animals and the uh, fishes won't or like salmon won't like them. I have a home. Yeah, they won't because we're not taking care of them. Um, so they would they would tell these stories to their kids, right? So they would tell these stories to the kids, and then their kids would learn right and, and then, then they would tell their stories to their kids and then their, their kids, kids and then it keeps on evolving it yeah on because evolving. what do you inherit what what do you inherit like when i when 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 your parents die you inherit what uh the planet <laughs> where we live right mm -hmm. anyways like i said so they got split up into four. The south, the four, the, the four corners, the four corners of the world, right? The mm -hmm. south, the south, east, north, and west, right? And so they were taught to respect the earth, right? 
respect animals, respect the water, right? Mm -hmm. And to guard everything, right? Mm -hmm. And um, and um, and then one day they were, and then one day when uh, it was actually a prophecy that they they actually did and they said that they knew that that the people on earth were the mission was to have guardians to teach other people how to take care of the planet and the earth and the animals and us and but nowadays everyone is nowadays you find toxins in our food you find pollution in our water you find what else do we find uh, trash on the floor you um, also find like trash on the sea ocean yeah that, that makes the uh, water brown because the thing affects the uh, affects the ocean it affects everything and everybody because we drink we drink water we drink water from the mountains right so it just so so in these stories um they would talk about how we were supposed to, how we were supposed to be the voices of, the voices for the, for the, for, for the, for the voices for people that didn't have voice, right? Not for the people, but for like the planet, like the water, the, the animals, the trees, they were the ones that didn't have a voice, right? So we were, we were, we, we would have to speak up for them right so when we would see so nowadays now that we see pollution right and now we see how people aren't really treating each other nicely anymore you know and and you could see it in nature right right because they're not even treating nature well so and they're not treating each other well what would you tell the grown-ups that are now grown-ups um, what they could do so you, you know our planet or the planet you're gonna live on when you grow up be better yeah so basically if we didn't like uh, throw trash in the water um, put trash on the floor and everywhere and um, use so much plastic maybe yeah. start recycling yeah. and reusing right mm -hmm. and what and, and what else I'm putting trash in the nature. Yeah, and how about like maybe be nicer to each other and then we yeah. could learn how to be nicer to everything else that doesn't have a voice. Yeah. And to stand up for 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 things that don't have a voice. Mm -hmm. Like like what? Like the water. And the trees and the um the rocks and the Yeah. Because we come from where? We come from the... Earth. Yeah, we come from Earth. See? And so these stories were taught down to teach their children how to treat the Earth. And um, so one day when they prophesied in the stories that they were going to... The days were going to come when people were going to be fighting with each other and people weren't going to be treating each other right. And when in that chaos or in that mindset people were going to start not only not treating each other right but not treating the 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 earth with respect and start disrespecting it by throwing trash by putting uh plastic plastic in our food or not feeding the animals what they were supposed to you know and they said that in the ending days that we were going to see that and um that they were hoping that the that the stories were going to get around to their children or to the guardians of the earth and um which in the stories it says um the south the east and the west all the people were they going to come back together in harmony and 
get along with each other. And in return, we were gonna, you know, create this new world where we wouldn't disrespect it and we would treat it nicely and we would treat it with more care. And that's pretty much the story. Um, I know it's it was more dramatic than what I said it because I kept saying, um, because I'm trying to remember it because it, it was really long. But the story or the story, the whole point of this is that we need to start treating um, nature with respect, just like we need to start treating our treating each other with respect. We also have to treat the things that don't have a voice and the things that are wrong, wrong, and start calling them out and start doing our part. I think er if everybody does our part, I think it could make a major change. And because I'm an adult now, so I know tops, I'm not gonna be here for that. I'm not gonna say that long because I'm still young, but I don't, I'm not gonna be here forever. And I do want to leave this, um, you know, I don't want this to go away. Like, I don't want that to go away, you know. And, um, and that's, these are stories that, you know, that are passed down to our kids so we could teach them. And we need a, you know. You know, even though, even if you're not from the culture, you know, um, they're just beautiful teachings. There's beautiful stories that we could t tell our kids. Um, and even children know what is right and what is wrong. And, um, you know, as adults, we have to think about, you know, not so much our, not so much about like instant gratification or instant pleasure or what we need now you know we need to think about for you know further in the future and what we could do um do our part you know also like you know technology is great that's how i'm able to connect with people um but also take your kids outside and you know get them off the computer and my Elisha, he's Elisha. <laughs> you love the computer, huh? Uh, yeah, I just get bored of it. Yeah. <laughs> Is this relaxing to you? And just get them all out of the computer. You know, I know our lives are hectic and we're pretty much slaves to work. But I'm here on a Tuesday. And I could be sitting home watching a Netflix or watching 90 Day Fiance or whatever. But I'm here enjoying this, you know, because this is not going to be here for a long time. And people need to understand that. And I want to show you guys parts of this is a pretty part of Washington. But I'll show you guys parts of Washington where you could see the destruction and you could see them cutting every tree down for those fancy houses for and i'm not going against people that have fancy houses because if you could afford it more power to you but just know that you know the house that you're sitting on like it was it was you know once you know in the forest and um you know i like to hear native american um, stories because um, they believe everything has consciousness, even the trees. And I think that's beautiful. And I, I think it, it is true. You can't just build on any land. Like, um, the, you know, the earth is very sacred, you know, and we're all connected, you know, because when we die, we become dust and we go back to the earth. And for us to disrespect it the way we disrespect it is not okay and you know i've done it you know where i threw gum on the floor and not even think about that a bird would pick it up and feed it to its little babies and then you know then die because they're not supposed to eat gum you know so just things like that this is a pretty cool rock 
use it as an arrow. Hmm. Anyways, this is a short video just to let you guys know. Uh, I like coming here. It relaxes me. It grounds me. You know, it calms us all. que les estaba diciendo las historias que me dijeron uh, cómo uno puede salvar el mundo or, uh, no salvar el mundo pero respetar los unos a los otros y respetar uh, la tierra y respetar los animales los árboles así como uno se quiere dar a respetar y quiere quieren que otros los respete Uh, uno, uno como humano tiene la tiene el poder y la y la voz para decir um, cuando los faltan al respeto y cuando no o, o, o cuando los faltan y cuando no los faltan uno tiene la habilidad de hablar y decir ella no me falten el respeto verdad pero como los árboles los animales la, la agua, los que viven, los animales que viven adentro de la agua, ellos no tienen, no tienen ese, esa, ese poder de hablar. Eso como un, uno, como humano, así como uno quiere ser tratado con respeto, también uno debe de tratar la tierra así. Um, no más porque no hablan, no significan que no sienten, son... You know, son árboles que crecen y con la luz y con, con agua, así como uno. Uno uh, nació bebé y, 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 y luego crece como un adulto. Y yo nomás les hablo, son historias que les digo a mis hijos que uno debe de, de respetar. Uno debe respetar hasta las cosas que no pueden hablar. Y porque un día uno pues va a morir y va a regresar a la tierra. Y es y uno también debe de cuidar nuestro planeta porque esto es lo que vamos a dejarlos a, a nuestros hijos. Y no queremos dejarlos ahorita por ahorita, por sí ahorita se mira pura peleadera, puro, pu, pur, pura cosa mala en las noticias. Um, so uno debe de criar un mundo para nuestros hijos y enseñarles que no tirar basura en el piso, no, no estar, um, si miran animales, que no, que no anden molestándolos, que los traten con respeto. Um, y es una historia de de cómo nuestras, ¿cómo se dice? Ancestors, nuestros, um, la gente que estaba aquí antes de los otros, es lo, lo que dejó, lo, son historias antiguas para que uno pueda sobrevivir y, y también pueda saber cómo, cómo tratar um, la tierra, ¿verdad? Y es lo que mamá estaba diciendo. Uh, ahora es martes y vine del trabajo, vino a, vine aquí. Can you say hola? Hola. Say cómo están? ¿Cómo estás? <laughs> okay, well, um, cuídense en unos al otro, respétense, por favor, respeten la, you know, por favor, no tiren la basura afuera. 
y si también no, no salgan más afuera, saquen a los niños más afuera para que jueguen. Ah, porque esto no va a estar aquí toda la vida. You know? así, como, así como miro las cosas, poquito a poquito ya, ya se mira men menos el bosque. Ya no tenemos mucho bosque. Hay más casas que bosque. Y ya se están mirando los animales uh, más salvajes porque ya no tienen hogar. So uno también debe de, 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 si vamos a tomar de la tierra, también uno debe de, de poner ciertas cosas. So, si vamos a tumbar árboles, vamos a plantar árboles uh, porque no, no, no crecen en, en un año, crecen en años. Y, y nomás para cortarlos en un por tres, como que no, ¿verdad? So, ese es, ese es mi, ¿cómo se dice? My two cents. Ese es mi consejo. You know, yo estoy tratando de cambiar. Y, y también no salir más. No estar, no estar siempre pegada a la tele. So. All right. Well, good night.